also incorporated the fact that if Ukraine will be a member of the EU, then the current 27 member countries would receive less from cohesion spending because cohesion spending uh, across the EU budget is related to the average GDP per capita in the EU. And if Ukraine joins, then, you know, this average will go down because the Ukraine GDP per capita is very low. But if the average goes down, then it means that some current EU regions, which are currently in the, in the lowest category, might move up to transition regions. And some transition regions might move up to more developed regions. So we also find that current EU countries would obtain about 24 billion euros less from cohesion funding simply because the mechanical impact of Ukraine reducing the EU every GDP per capita. There is the risk that even if a country meets the necessary criteria for joining the EU at the time of accession, in later years, you know, that could be that could be backsliding. Now, what we propose is that in the accession treaty that Ukraine will sign with the European Union, there should be a clause that if the country doesn't meet certain benchmark indicators by being a member of the European Union, then its voting rights can be suspended in a much faster way than it's currently possible in the EU. And also access to EU funds would be suspended in a much faster way.